here's what I'm thinking. We definitely get the goober. That's obvious, right? And probably gonna get that bow and arrow as well. Just cause we're gonna need two forms of DPS. You know what I mean? Um, an option that we have is getting the shield that can act as another activator for this goobert. But usually I don't like buying shield unless I'm going for spike shields and we kind of just can't do that because I don't have the money. Alternatively, what I could do is get myself a Tuscan poker and just roll for like food as an activator for this goobert. Maybe some whetstones turn into a steel goobert and potentially go into a pet build. But what I want to do that's what I should do to win the game, I think, is going for a pet build. But what I want to do is get this Mega Clover. And if we get Mega Clover, that means we can't go pet build because we can't get that. So I want to go over Mega Clover. That's what I want. Because fun. Fun over wins. Always. And I want Mega Clover. Mega Clover. Um, which means eventually we're going to be selling this Poison Goober. I mean, uh, Goober. Regular Goober. Eventually. I think. I mean, we don't really have to. Theoretically speaking, we don't really, really have to. But I feel like I will. But it was on sale, so if I do sell it in the future, it's okay. Unless I combine it for a steel goober, then I'm losing money, probably. But I don't know yet. I'm going for this Tuscan poker. And I'm rolling. I got a whetstone, which is nice. And I got this on sale, which means I should probably just buy it. And I'll buy the stone too. And we'll roll with this. Huh. Wasn't a shitty round. Versus a pan and a flying Arlequin, we more than likely could have win that one. That was a good game. All right, round two. Um, Definitely buying this. And I'm just going to go for the steel goober just to go for it, which means we got to find a different for, uh, source of DPS. We also need more activators, which means we need more food whenever we get to that point. So everything here doesn't matter unless we were to go for a shovel, but that's not going to happen. So I say we buy another garlic to put there for another activator and we buy both of those next round. I think that's the, be <clears throat> the better <clears throat> the better thing to do. We should win. Our DPS is practically the same, except we have healing and we also have spikes for their sword. So that's a W for us. Good game. Got the other bow, which is actually good. Um, so I'm gonna get both of these. I just get the bow too. Um, and this can go like that. Not going to put the bow on the field. Not until I get a still goobert. But I wanted to buy it now versus buying it later. Because okay. I don't have to worry about it later. Might lose this one. I mean, he does have a molten spear. Plus the wooden sword. And he's got the chili for his heat generation. Plus regeneration for his healing. If we don't lose, it'll be really close. But I think we lose. Yeah. That's okay, though. That was a good game. A thorn whip this early on round four. Changes things. And it's on sale. Hmm. Huh. God dang it. A change of things, bro. I could abandon the Goobert idea. I can legitimately abandon it. And go for a Bloodthorn. Could be kind of cool. Um... I say we do it just to see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but I say we'll do it just to see what's going to happen. Just to have fun and see what the game gives us. I could still go for a still goober. 
So I don't really want to sell my wooden sword, but I probably don't need this other bow now. More than likely. So I say we sell the other bow. Is this better? I think that's better just for the sake of stamina. I'll go with that. But yeah, I have no clue what direction this build is going in now that I have the Storm Whip. I just thought it could be kind of cool. <laughs> just to see what would happen. Okay. We got both of those. I'll get more space just because I can. So, I'm going to put the Tuscan Poker down. Just so that... Eh. Just so I'm able to do this instead. Pretty hero sword. Yeah, I'll just do that instead. Um, and then this can... Right there. Okay. That works for me. Oh yeah, that works for me. I have no clue what... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see if it works, though. I think we lose this. Our stamina generation is kind of buns. Okay, we didn't lose this. Wow. Good game. Um, I'll get me another clover. You know what? Why not? Why not buy that? And why not buy the blueberry? And why not buy the fanny pack? Hmm. This is going to be the weirdest build ever. I'm going for a bloodthorn. <laughs> it's going to be the weirdest thing I've ever done. And of course, Ripshaw Blade is there. So that sucks. <laughs> Six blind is crazy. How are we managing? How do we manage to win with Six blind and, and a Ripshaw Blade? I don't know. Oh, we got the Pyromancer. Huh. That changes things. That changes things. Okay. My immediate reaction is Flame Whip. That's the immediate thing to do. Immediately. But, I don't know. Hmm. What items would I want if I was a Pyromancer? I feel like we would just have to go flame with for some reason. Like, it's just there. <laughs> just gotta need to. Right? Hear me out. We could go flame whip. Have spike generation. For the gaining of heat. And pineapples. For the gaining of spikes. Along with poison ivy. Because those spikes are going to turn into poison. And they're going to be used for heat generation. That's the build. We already got still Goobert. So we got some form of DPS increase. We just need spike generation after that. And that's all that we realistically would need. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. That's what we're doing. Now I've just got to get lucky in finding some heat. <laughs> Which honestly, we don't really have to get lucky for that. We're going to get it next round, hopefully. And we can crit. So we should probably get acorn collars. I got two bananas. I can risk 1.4, right?
Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, we'll roll with this. Um, hopefully I don't regret it and everyone is happy versus if I can't beat this, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Besides the Jakunic Orb being there. Should probably get Jakunic Orb. But yeah. All right, we're fine. Awesome. I didn't, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Poison Ivy. Got our first pineapple, which is great. Another thing is the Tuscan Poker generates spikes, which can then be used on the Flame Whip to make it even better. That's another thing. Um, I say we get space here because I want to try to figure out a way to min-max this guy. Somehow. I can't put you there. I could put you here, though. That works. Kind of works ish. It will work. I'll make it work. Boom. Boom. Uh, that can go there. Pineapple. I don't like pineapple being there. Pineapple go there. That goes there. And that goes there. I got to put it there. Missing out on two stars, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, yeah, not the end of the world. <clears throat> okay. Dagger build, a baby dagger build. He does have a spectral dagger with mana orb, so maybe it's not that big of a baby dagger build. We won. Wow. Definitely need that. I kind of do need this too. It'll pop up again. I have faith. I have all the faith in the world with that. will pop up again, hopefully. All the faith in the world, it'll pop up again. I need an armor slot for this, but for now, I'm just going to put it there. Meow. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Excalibur. A little baby Excalibur build. I think we're fine. Maybe. Berserker mode? Woo! Fine. He also had the Leaf Badge, which he got some Clovers, an Acorn Collar. Nothing crazy. Good game, though. Still no heat, surprisingly. Very surprising and sad. Sadly, surprisingly, because I kind of need it for the flame whip right about now. Drastically needed. Nice criticals. Let's go double acorn collar. All right, one heat down. How many do I need two, right? Yeah, I need two. Okay, maybe buy one. Uh, not now. Not yet. I will get you. Damn it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the armor too. Hopefully I can get heat next round. <clears throat> I need it. This is as fast as a blueberry, which is kind of crazy. Okay, I can combine you. That can just go there for the heat and that goes up there. All right, give me heat next round. I need heat now. Oh my God, you have a lot of heat. Oh my God, your heat generation is insane. Plus, you're going to be eating up my freaking spikes, you monster. Freaking monster.
Jesus Christ. Okay, we got another flame. Beautiful. You come here. Flame whip me. And I might as well buy you now. Combine. That goes there. For the extra armor. I need the clovers though for crits. Means I really don't need that blueberry right there. Besides for making things faster. This will work. This will work. Surprisingly, this will work. Good old fashioned Bloodthorn with the cards. Okay. Let's see what you got. 34 critical is what you got. I see. Okay, hold up, hold up. We might be, we might be okay. Maybe, potentially, hopefully, probably not. Ouch. Ouch. I, we were not okay. But now we get combinations. And there's a freaking impractical large great sword. Okay. We're gonna have to rearrange. For sure. And we need more dark crystals. Um. I'm gonna take more blueberries. Another pineapple was beautiful. Okay. So. How do I fit you? I need you, like... No. <laughs> I guess I'll just have you... Well, no, you need to be... You need to be in the ranger bag. So, like, this. That will work. It's ugly, but... That works. So, yeah, I need you like this. That can be another activator. We're missing three slots over there, which is not good, but... I can figure that out. Um, um, let's see here. I mean, we could keep it like this, realistically. More spikes would be nice. No, because then I'm missing out on two stars instead of one. I mean, that'll still work, though. That'll still work. Yeah, that'll still work. We get pineapple next round. That's going to help us out drastically, and we need a lot more corrupted crystals. For sure. But now we have a consistent heat generator, which is beautiful. Plus, the spikes is turning into poison, which is great. Which is making pretty much everything faster. But now we got a stamina issue. And we don't like stamina issues. Which means that bone arrow right there. We got to get rid of that. We got to get rid of you, bro. You're not really doing anything for us anymore. We get all the spikes we realistically need from the pineapple in 1.8. And you're a 1.18, which isn't horrible. But I mean, you're using up my stamina, which can be used on my flame whip, brother. I don't like that. So you might have to go. Yeah, you're going to have to go. That's fine, though. For another pineapple. Let's get you as well. 
Roll. Got the gin. Can I get you to proc? It is possible. Another corrupted crystal is beautiful as well. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna do this. And we're just gonna do that. It's not as fast, but it will do. I'm actually gonna sell this flame. Just so I can get the second corrupted crystal. That's gonna help me more than anything, I think. Okay, no carrots, so no cleansing. But he has an axe plus an Excalibur, which is interesting. He's got no stamina generation at all. Let's see how this goes. Three hundred and ten max health. Sheesh. This is not looking good for us, boys. No, it's not working. Hmm. I said I get a DJ lamp. get a Dijon lamp. I don't know if it'll proc, but I mean, there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay, kind of okay. Sun armor is not kind of okay. But the new addition of the Dijon lamp does make me happy. I will say that. There's a very real chance that we're able to proc it. Especially since he doesn't have the Jakunic orb. Getting rid of our spikes. All we need is 777. Which is looking very promising right now. If we can get that 777, I think we win the game. We're already, okay, we got it. Boom. So now we're going to be doing 80 crits, which we're not. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. If we can keep doing that, we win the game for sure. 68 crits. Come on. Just keep critting. Yes, let's go. Okay, this is looking up. Dejin was a good choice. It was a very, very good choice. Damage dealt from poison was only 32, though, which is not good. I mean, it was 107, but still not good. Not good at all. I mean, the plus 25% extra damage is really nice. But we definitely need, like, 55 heat just from the weapon. Yeah. Flame Whip is nasty. It is nasty. <clears throat> definitely nasty. I was considering getting that mana orb. Just to get better mana generation which can even help the blueberries get the clovers faster and everything. It'd be worth a shot or, or just not get it because it passed. OK, that sucks. Um, hmm. I say the next thing, maybe sun armor. We should have been gotten sun armor, though. It's only three rounds left, so I don't even know if it's worth getting. Any more pineapples? I was thinking the same thing. That or gin lamps, because Theoretically, gin lamps would generate pineapples or thorns because thorns was consistently being used from the flame whip. So theoretically, thorns should be the lowest amount of buff we have for the gin lamp to proc. Okay, let's see. 
kind of want that. Could set a badge. Yeah. I guess I really don't need Power Mancer items anymore. Unless I were to get Sun Armor, but other than that, I don't really need Power Mancer items anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna just sell this next round. <laughs> Cause I really don't need it. I just bought it cause it's on sale. Wow. You went gloves of power. But dark saber is interesting. That blind is going to hurt us so much because we have nothing to cleanse it with, but he doesn't have mana, which is great. He has no mana generation. We're about to get a proc right about one more clover. There we go. Got the proc 64 damage. He's doing a lot more, though. Damn, one more hit, he would have been gone. All right, let's get you. I may, I guess I do need you. Because I need that extra armor slot. I thought this had three for some reason. I'm back. How are the games? They're decent. We have a very interesting build going on right now. But it works. For the most part. problem is you you gotta do something somewhere that'll work for me three three and this guy can just use those so we're missing only one slot which is actually good um, armor's got to go somewhere. Don't know where. All right, that works. That's even better. <clears throat> All right, I think we just improved the build a little bit. Okay. We improved it slightly. Oh my God. I've never gone against a wolf build before. What? He has no weapons, just a bunch of diamond slots. So what's the point of putting the wolves in the diamond slots if you have no weapons in the stars? All right. Let's see what happens. Versus his wolf build. 
He's going to fatigue us. Does he have that much survivability? Is it just the armor puppies giving you like a shit ton of armor? It seems every two point something seconds. Huh? I think you're right. Give me any amethyst, any sapphires, whatever the blue jewel is. I think he's going to fatigue us. He has no weapons. It's literally a fatigue build for Ruby Well. Okay. Our DPS isn't horrible, though. I mean, we are kind of doing a lot, but Fatigue's about to kick in. I think we win. Okay, we won. But wow, I've never gone against a build like this before. Nice, yeah. Gin proc W. Gin proc W, for sure. Oh. I mean, it's only the last round. What what item would I want? <laughs> of all the items in the game, what item would you want in the very last round? Which one would make you happy? A death scythe? <laughs> it's the only item I would want. Give me a death scythe, but then it would take away stamina, so never mind. Um. I don't know. Maybe some chilies for heat generation. That's the only thing I could think of. I want this. That's what I want. God damn it, I sold my armor slot. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't thinking. I sold my freaking armor slot. Should I just put this on the weapon? Or should I get a mana orb? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like mana orb would be better. Put on a weapon. I could put on a weapon. Or I could get mana orb. <laughs> mana orb, mana orb. Um, just gonna put it on the weapon. It sucks I don't get that extra armor slot though. We're not inflicting that much poison anyways. Not as much as I would like. But then getting the plus 25 damage is nice. I can't knock the plus 25% damage when they reach 18. What the fuck? What is this? You have so many. You have four. Mrs. Struggles. Why do you need four? Is it because of all the dark items? You don't want anyone to have a buff. No one's having a buff in front of you, bro. Jin Lamp will never proc. <laughs> it's never going to proc at all. That shit's dead. Oh my gosh, you just have Dark Saber. You, you rip, why do you need Ripshaw Blade when you have four Mr. Struggles? Why? <laughs> the Reaper smile, bro. Bro, what is this? Oh my gosh. We're gonna be blinded, bro. Uh, we're probably gonna lose this, I think. 
He's going to destroy our clovers. You're using your mana to put blind on us. We have no way of removing debuffs of blindness from ourselves. I think we're fucked. We're already missing. The only thing we can rely on is poison. Poison ramping is the only thing we can rely on because we can't rely on our weapon. We can't rely on heat. We can only rely on poison. I don't think we win this. We actually hit him for 40 right there, which is kind of nice, but you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that sucks. We lost the plushies. We lost the plushies because our build relies on buffs. It literally like without the heat. We suck and we can't do anything with 35% accuracy. There was nothing we could do there, I don't think. Not against that. If it wasn't for this, we would have been fine, I think. Why do you have Ripshaw Blade? What is the purpose of Ripshaw Blade here? If you're just removing spikes and regeneration with your four fucking Mrs. Struggles, why do you even have Misfortune? Why? Is it for more spikes? Is that what you want in life? <laughs> Good game.